What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, go back to another video. And in today's video, we're gonna be working on the Supra. Finally, finally guys, we have the Supra right over here, but most importantly, um, the Supra has been here. It's been here for like uh, three months with the same damage and driving permits and all that good stuff, but we haven't been able to drive it uh, just mainly because we haven't got it past VIN verification. To get it past VIN verification, we do need to get aesthetically 100% pleasing. Um, so uh, yeah, we flew out the man, the myth, the legend, uh, the tune. <laughs> What's up guys? First off bro, thank you so much for actually coming hey, out here no and showing us um, how we're actually gonna get this done. We got the welder and everything that we need to actually literally cut off this quarter panel, replace it. Um, we're gonna do a little, we're gonna do Bondo as well, right? It wants to, you know, yeah, fit, we'll finish. Go ahead and knock out the body work. Cause I mean, it's not really gonna be that much body work on here. It's not a legit <laughs> test, but I mean, really, it's if you look at the surface, you can see that's how much body filler you'd have to add onto there. And you can only imagine when you close that door, guys, that's gonna ruin the paint, just destroy everything. So again, this is a 2021 car, guys, only 5,000 miles. I wanna make sure this is done properly. Um, so yeah, the first things we're gonna be probably doing is removing this gas cap, removing this stuff inside of here, removing this glass, which, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun, right? Yeah, it should be pretty simple. Okay. This, I think this molding is glued onto the glass. Oh, so it comes Sorry. out probably all together? Yeah. Okay. So there is that, and then, uh, yeah. I mean, guys, again, uh, this is the man, the myth, the legend. He's gonna be showing us how to do all this good stuff. Sorry, we do have all the equipment. This is gonna be good stuff, bro. I'm so excited. Let's go ahead and get to it. All right, bro, quick question. So why are you actually like shipping it down down there? Because uh... Well, because we're gonna replace this piece in one piece instead of three. See, there's three separate panels. We got the rocker right here. This is the inner door panel. And then we have the quarter panel. On factory, look, if you're gonna replace it, it would all come in separate pieces. But since we have a complete quarter panel, we will actually be able to replace it and keep all our factory spot welds in here and our factory seam sealer. So we're just gonna replace it right here, slice it here, slice it here. And it's gonna be a pretty simple job. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. All right guys, so so far we do have all these guys drilled out. So at this point, uh, we're gonna do a little bit of a cutting, just kind of where our, our quarter panel is gonna be. And then we're also gonna use a chisel to actually go in between the seal and just kind of break the quarter panel apart from uh, the car itself. So uh, yeah, I mean, we got these from AutoZone. They should do the yeah, trick. That will work perfectly. <laughs> Hell just yeah. gonna have to sharpen them up just a little bit. Actually? Yeah. Oh, okay. That right oh, there, you, you don't want to tear up the, the original metal. You kind of just want to peel the skin off. Okay, okay. Sometimes some of the spot will stick, so you got to just uh, rip them off. So what we're going to do right now is actually, I guess we'll just go ahead and just remove this quarter panel. Sounds like a plan.
Alright, so we finally got this skin off. My biggest fear is honestly all this stuff behind this skin completely buckled up. And as you guys can see, this is absolutely perfect. This is absolutely perfect. So literally just by replacing this skin, we're going to have an OEM replacement that's going to look so, so, so good. And oh my god, guys, this Supra is getting the love that it definitely deserves. I didn't want to put that huge cake of Bondo on there, and I'm glad we are not. Alright guys, so at this point, uh, he's going to go ahead and just start drawing the lines of where we're actually going to go ahead and cut it. Uh, we did have a base plate. Where'd it go exactly? Um, so literally we cut that off of there and what does that do exactly? When so Like why'd you cut that off exactly? This is going to be a template right here. We're going to line this up with this hole right here and then we just make our mark and once we slice it right here, it's going to be perfectly over there and it's going to have a perfect weld. So for everyone that's wondering how you get this cut and this cut to match, that's pretty much the process on how you guys go about it. You guys are about to see how it happens, but you guys, there is a saying, work smarter, not harder, and this is literally the definition of it. <laughs> like this looking like mcdonald's bro that's wait, wait, wait. crazy oh look at that fitment that looks pretty good yeah, it's not fully on, but that's what i'm talking about trimmed up a little bit right there he's got one more cut in the top right yeah Dang. yeah we're gonna have to clean that up because i hit
And guys, this is day two. We have the quarter panel chill night there, just kind of like prepped up. Nothing's actually uh, like permanently mounted just yet. Um, we, we do have the ground finally cleaned up. That's why this is day two. Yesterday was getting kind of messy over here. We wanted our surface area, our work area, just to be a whole lot cleaner um, for this next job here. And we're just super stoked to finally get this quarter panel mounted. I mean, when I say we, I mean primarily me, but <laughs> I'm just super stoked. I mean, this looks is looking really good, right, bro? Like, oh, man, it's lined up perfectly. oh my god, dude. I mean, this isn't even like the finished product. This is just kind of like a test fit. And guys, this just looks insane. I mean, I can't even imagine if we actually just went with Bondo. <laughs> that would have went, that would have went completely sideways. No, um, now looking right here, it's all back to the original. Dang. Yeah, no, I mean, and also, I mean, unfortunately, I wish the quarter panel was a little longer. Uh, the guy that was selling this quarter panel had it chopped from here, and he had it all the way till, like, I think, like, here. He didn't even have the complete quarter panel, so this isn't too bad, and it's not like it's, it's like, deadening too badly, so we just put a little bit of filler on there, um, and it's gonna end up looking really, really, really good, so, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and set you guys down and get this thing all put together. <laughs> So at this point guys, we got everything prepped up. We got all this stuff sanded. Um, oh, actually we have some holes now. I think that actually holds the plate that you went ahead and put in the back. Yeah, this plate right here is gonna go back here. Right back there. Ooh, that looks <laughs> perfect. Um, so that's how we're gonna actually go ahead and weld it right over there. Um, this blanket here is, uh, is a welder blanket. So this will prevent like sparks and things getting inside the interior, destroying the interior um, and also creating fire. So that is very, very, very helpful and useful. I'm learning a lot on this process. Here's our welder. We do have an extension cable. We're gonna be plugging it back there, mainly because if you guys don't have a 240 volt, you could use a 120, but I don't think it's gonna be enough power. Um, so we're gonna plug it right back over here because um, your washing machine should have a 240 volt back here. Harbor Freight welder. He did the best that he could and honestly this came out pretty dang good. So you guys can see right over here everything is sealed up really really nicely. We did all the prep work that is needed. Now we are going to be grinding all of this off and obviously sanding this all down. Uh, we did a little bit of grinding right there as well and that just looks so oh, so so good. Uh, when I say we I mean him completely. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just a spectator uh, but if you guys check out all of that that's definitely going to have that OEM look that we've been looking for and oh my god guys the, finally the sides are going to mount properly. If we go ahead and grab the door and we just look Go ahead and let go of the door. Look at that. <laughs> that is what I'm talking about. Check out that fitment. That looks so good. Everything is so flush. And once you put our gas cap in everything, everything's gonna be so nice. And again, this is the proper way to do it because every time you close the door now, we're not actually gonna be cracking bond or anything like that because the bond that we would have had to put would have been this thick, which would have been absolutely insane. So, um, any his. Now that we got this step done, the welding process, we're just gonna go ahead and just start sanding this thing and just get it as beautiful as possible.
Now it is later in the day, guys, and we have the Bondo kind of just sitting where it needs to be. Um, now we're gonna get this thing fully sanded tomorrow morning and just get this thing 100% ready for primer. So this thing's pretty much ready to go off to paint, which should be absolutely perfect. But in the meantime, also, because we were trying to get everything else ready for paint, um, this door to get it properly painted, we do need to remove absolutely everything. We're talking window glass, trim pieces, mirror, everything off this door. So I'm gonna go ahead and completely strip down this door to the bare bone, just so again, we have a proper paint for literally everything in this car to keep it as OEM as possible. Um, but we're actually just gonna go ahead and throw back on the mirror just to get us to the paint booth, um, just because legally we cannot drive without a mirror. We can drive without a glass, but not without a mirror. So that's that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. This is gonna be a long and tedious process and this is gonna be fully time-lapsed. And welcome back guys to day three of working on this super and finally actually getting this thing 100% primed and ready for the paint shop. This thing is looking so, so, so good, especially with this door lined up with it. I mean, it just looks so OEM, so perfect, the way it should have been from the beginning. And uh, this car, honestly guys, we only put one layer of uh, body filler. And uh, honestly guys, I don't even think we're gonna be needing even like, a, like it's gonna be so, so, so thin. Um, we don't even need another layer, we're just gonna sand everything down, so it's gonna be so, so, so perfect. And then I think we're gonna do a finishing off product of maybe, I think it's epoxy. I'm not really too sure, BT knows what he's doing. I'm over here just learning throughout the process. Gonna be doing this same, similar kind of uh, project onto our E91 M3 build, because we're gonna do like new quarter panels from an M3. Um, so um, yeah, learning a lot from this process. And I'm just so, so, so happy on the transformation so far. It is just insane. After hours of work, hours of prepping, this thing is looking so, so, so much better. Like, look at this quarter panel, guys. It is super flat, looking absolutely amazing. As if literally nothing happened, and by the time I actually spray this primer, you're not gonna be able to even see, hopefully, hopefully, um, where the cut quarter panel cut was. Um, so yeah, I'm just super happy with these results. Like, this is gonna look so, so, so good. We have everything masked off over here as well. We're just gonna go ahead and use some uh, alcohol just to uh, go ahead and just wipe all this surface down, and then use a spray can of primer um, just to put it all over the surface to prevent rust or anything like that. Also, at the same time, prep it for some paint. And after countless hours, guys, this is the result of the new quarter panel on the car. It just looks so, so, so good. And honestly, I couldn't have wished for a better job, uh, let alone this was done in my garage. So huge special shout out to my boy from V2 over here, bro. Like that is insane. Um, the type of work he does, honestly, I didn't even, I mean, this is from my garage, guys. I didn't think from things I could buy from the store, the results could turn this insane, especially when we use a like primer can. Yeah, Typically use for professional it. tools, but like, oh my God, this just, this, this came out better than any auto body shop I honestly took my car to for body work this is absolutely insane so as you guys can see the body gaps everything's looking really 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 good um i did strip this door down i'm gonna have this door pretty much fully sanded um and then repainted we did remove the grills and everything like that once we actually get to the body shop we'll actually remove the door um we do have the side skirt chilling up there as well and uh yeah this thing's gonna be ready for paint so as of right now the the last thing to say i know i said it a million times bro and i'm gonna keep saying it dude amazing work i appreciate it you guys he came all the way from tennessee i in California. How long was that flight, bro? About four hours. Four hours. He's leaving ten at night tonight. So got the job done though. It was freaking mint. 
If you guys are excited to see this thing get painted, make sure to smash that like button. Without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.